What's up, YouTube? This is Brub52, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In this episode, we're going to be continuing the Shadow Temple. I'm not paying attention too much. But what we do have to do here is we have to get all these silver keys, of course. It's one to under our man over here, so we're going to have to actually pull up bombs. Right here. Bombs away. I missed. Oh, no, I didn't. Anyway. Dang, I'm getting hit left and right. Jesus. I stuck and hit. It's my own fault, I guess. Anyway. So now we've unlocked this room. And in this room, there's a hidden block here. <laughs> there's a little, like, note that'll tell you that there's a hidden block here. But I, I already know it's there. So, also, yeah, this is Skull 2 that we're also gonna get in here. And actually, our, this block is actually gonna protect us. From these guillotines that are falling. Once it hits both of them. Yeah, it's got both. And we can actually navigate in this area. Like, get this Gotula. Ready for this? Oh man. They always put them just a little bit too high, so I actually have to use my stuff. It takes longer. Now, this chest doesn't really have anything too special in it, I don't think. Yeah, just a bottle of arrows. Not too great. Um, so now we actually have to bring this over here. Alright. And climb on top of it. And go over here, and then get on this, and do this. This isn't what we're looking for, but that sh that thingy is, that switch here. So we'll go ahead and step on this, and spawn the chest over there, and jump on this, and jump over here. Boom. We have the small key we need, if I could open. There we go. Smoky. Alright, let's go ahead and smash these pets. Because they don't deserve to live. There's the sign that tells you that the thing is the thing. Alright. So now that we're done in this area, we can go ahead and leave and ignore the crap out of these guys. And go this way where there is a... S invisible thing. So that's, 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 it's an invisible thing. And you gotta jump to this other invisible thing. And go over here. And small key. Voila. Zelda 101. Don't move. There's spikes there. There's also dudes, so I'm actually gonna pull up my Oc not the bomb trees. <laughs> Ocarina and so freeze them here with a sun song. So we can actually go murder their faith though. Not bombs. Well, I guess bombs could murder their faces off. That's not what I'm going for here, man. The other guy's gonna get unfrozen. Can I not use this? There we go. I don't think that chest is anything special either. Most of the chests in this game are just not that great. It's the hidden stuff that is. Yeah, just a blue ripping. Nothing too great. So let's actually go ahead and collect all of these. Stop with the bombs. It's annoying. Thoroughly annoying. Anyway. That's how we get this one. There's an invisible block above this one. Or is there? Yeah, there's. And there is an invisible target also. Totally forgot about that. There's that. Oh, there we go. Now we need the hover boots to get this one. Here we go. Alright, and then the other one. And we got them all. Now that door is open. Now I believe we need a small key that is in that door. So that's helpful. Get 
This is the first basketball rink thing we get. There's also a uh, guy behind here. How many do we have, actually? 46, getting close to 50. Which is a back home we're gonna actually stop looking for school tools. Because after that you need 100, and 100 is very hard to find. What you gotta do is you gotta toss a bomb into these... This big skull thing in the middle. Which is pretty easy. Go blow it up, and then there's a small key. Right there. Alright. Oh yeah, we also have to kill all the bats. To open the door. Don't do it. Don't run away. Stop this treason. There we go. And then we can leave. Now we have to go up there. Not, not, I'm not even pulling. Up here. Just target right there. Missed. Alright, there we go. And there's a small key. Door. And this part's fun. These fans will blow and you need the iron boots to be able to walk past them without getting pushed back by the wind. And there's a guy here. I killed his face though. Surprisingly, the hookshot can even pull the iron boots. So you don't have to take them off or whatever. Look at that. Magic. Jump. There we go. So now there's all of this. But trust me when I say there's a secret. Secret involving this fan. These fans are really loud. I apologize about that. Crap. Wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. It's not what I'm meant to do. Oh, we're all the way back to the beginning! There's a secret, I promise. You just gotta wait for it to stop blowing and then do stuff. Wonky controls are wonky. I blame a Nintendo on the 1998 controls, but it's a brand new one. Put the thing on the thing, please. There we go. Nailed it. He didn't have to worry about it. Oh, hi. Gotta wait for him to stop blowing. Trust me. Haha! -ha, look at that. You guys didn't believe me. This is no secret because you actually have to do it. So there's a hidden chest in this pile of debris here that you have to blow up with your bombs. It's hidden. As an in invisible. But it is there. There's the small key. He's so dead. This guy's so dead. Oh, not Link. The mama. No, you ruined my strategy, pot. He's dead anyway. Oh, all right. That chest isn't the hard piece. It's uh, actually bombs, I'm pretty sure. Which hints that you have to blow up the debris in here. Oh, it's, it's just a blue ribbon. No, no hints at all. Okay, so let's continue. Now we're at the ship part. 
This is where the Skull Tula is, by the way. Gotta play the Scarecrow song up there. And now we gotta push this block for a long time so we can climb up there. we go. So once we climb up, invisible blocks are fun. Climb. Thank you. We can turn around and Navi will go over there. And we can do, no. We can do the Scarecrow song. No, Navi, go over there. Crap, I forget what my Scarecrow song is. What was my Scarecrow song again? <laughs> Can I check that? Maybe. Apparently not. Hang on, I'm gonna pull up my video and see what I put for my Scarecrow song, because I totally forgot. Got a voice. It is actually... That better not ensue lag. There might be lag on this episode. I apologize. Okay. Anyway, the Scarecrow song's done. There's Pierre. So now they're all majestic. We slingshot over to him. Grab the Skulltula. Come on, let me backflip to it. Everything is freaking dungeon. It has to be just a little bit too high for me to be able to do that. There we go. Abby's going nuts over here. Thank you for the hearts, Pierre. I must leave you now. So now we have to actually jump on here and play the Zelda's Lullaby. That is not the Zelda's Lullaby. There we go. And then, surprise, surprise, the boat starts to ring a bell. And then the boat starts uh, to move.